What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you are having a great day. In our last video, we went over how to use padding with SwiftUI. In this view video, we're gonna be going over how to use spacers, which is a simple and powerful view that we can use to control the layout and the spacing of our elements within a container, such as an H stack or V stack. So let's go ahead and start this video out the same way we always do and create a new module, guys. So we're gonna go and add a spacers module and we're gonna move that down below our padding guy. And we are gonna hit new to create a new SwiftUI view and call it spacers module. So uh, I like to learn by doing guys, so I'm not gonna do some super deep dive into the concepts or like the principles behind spacers. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and create a V stack here. And let's add a text called spacers module. And what I want you guys to do is add a spacer here. And let's take, take a look at what happens. So we notice that it automatically just shoves that view up to the top of the screen. So why exactly is that happening? What exactly is this spacer doing? Well, to get a more accurate representation of that, let's go ahead and add a frame to this and give it just a width, guys, of maybe like 24 pixels and a background color of dot red. So we'll see here that this spacer is like an actual view component that is just filling all the empty space that is beneath this text, right? And then it spans to fit the entire height of the screen. So when we apply spacers in a V stack, it uh, applies the spacing on the vertical axis of my view. So this spacer is literally just filling all of this empty space on the vertical axis of my screen, and it shoves it all the way to the top, right? So similarly, guys, if I were to place the spacer before the text component, it would do the same thing, but it would fill all the space above it and shove it all the way down to the bottom. And you guys can see here that I can place like another piece of text above the spacer and it will um, have the text right there and then it'll fill all the empty space between those two things relative to the screen size. So spacers are really gonna help us with creating responsive user interfaces, guys, because they are it's a tool that we can use to fill the entire width of a screen or height of a screen. So screen size stops to, ma it doesn't matter, right? Because if you build a good UI, it's gonna be a responsive UI, so it doesn't matter if you build it for an iPhone Pro, an iPhone Pro Max, an iPad, an iPhone SE, none of that stuff. You wanna use spacers to help you adapt to those uh, different screen sizes. And this is just going to be an introduction into that. So um, that's going to, you know, be all we need to take a look at for our V stacks. Now I want us to go ahead and comment this out and let's see what it looks like with an H stack. So let's go ahead and add a text component here and maybe just say horizontal. And then let's add a spacer after that, guys. So if you guys remember, our H stacks are aligned from left to right. So the thing that appears at the top starts on the left and then everything else gets placed to the right of that. So very similar to what we saw with our V stack, it's just happening on a different axis here. So let's go ahead and do the same thing we did with our spacer. Let's give it a frame and a background. Uh, this time though, guys, we have to give this a height because of the, it's a horizontal spacer. So we're gonna say 24 and dot background is maybe dot blue. So we have to give this a height now, whereas with the V stack, we had to give it a width because the on a V stack, the height is dynamic, right? The height uh, fills the entire width of the screen. So you can't specify a height for a spacer when it's on a V stack. And with an H stack, you can't specify a width because it spans to fit the entire width of the screen. So the width is kind of like infinity, right? So you can give it a height though, so that we can visualize it. So this is what's happening with our H stack guys. It's get, it, it was placed to the right of our text component and it just fills all that empty space and shoves it all the way over to the left of the screen. And I'm sure you guys could guess that if I did this the other way around, it would fill the empty space on the left side of that text component and shove it all the way to the right of the screen. So here we're getting a really, really comprehensive picture of how powerful spacers can be and how they can help us with not only building more dynamic layouts, but how they can help us with building layouts that are responsive to different screen sizes, right? So you guys could imagine that even if I like change the orientation of the phone, um, let's see if I can do that. Uh, 
I'm not sure how to do that on the simulator or the preview, but if you guys were to flip the phone sideways and have a completely different layout in terms of your height of the screen and width of the screen, you're going to use spacers to help you adapt to that, uh, that uh, orientation of the device, right? Um, and we'll get more practice with that type of stuff as we go throughout the module, guys. This is really just an introduction to spacers here. Um, and another cool thing is that, let me go ahead and fix this and say like text horizontal. You guys will notice that if I wanna get things to span the entire width of the screen, much like we did with our VStack, we can use this spacer here to uh, you know, fill out the space between elements on the horizontal edges. So if I wanna place something on the left side and then on the right side, I can use a spacer to help me do that, right? So what I want us to do guys is expand on our user list a little bit more that we built out in uh, our challenge video. So if you guys remember in our stacks module, this is what it currently looks like. Let's imagine we wanted to put like an action button um, over here to the right of this user cell. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this into our spacers module. So let me comment that out and go here. And this is what we currently look like. So you guys notice that we're already inside of an H stack, right? Let me delete all this padding and stuff that we don't need. Um, now, like I said, let's imagine we wanted to add like an action button here, maybe to like send a message to this user or indicate whether or not we're following them or like have a follow action button, something like that. So if I were to just keep placing things next to this uh, H stack right here, guys, right? Like, let's say, I did like an image system name paper plane dot circle dot fill dot foreground color dot blue, right? So you guys notice that it just shows up right next to my vertical stack with my name stuff. And you guys might think, okay, well, maybe I could just apply some horizontal padding and just hard code these numbers until I get it right, right? Well, this is an example of how, let, sorry, let's make that leading. This is how a noob would do things, right? So they would just keep adjusting this number, let's say like 200 pixels, right? Um, until they got it to where they wanted to. And then they're like, oh man, it gets super frustrating because now this stuff is all janky and messed up, right? And this is not responsive to different screen sizes, right? Like this hard coded value of 200 only works for this particular screen size. If I had a smaller width or a larger width, it wouldn't look right. So the solution to that is what we just covered with our spacers, guys. So instead of applying that ridiculous amount of padding or this ridiculous, some ridiculous amount of hard coded spacing on my H stack up here, I just apply a spacer and it will automatically shove that all the way over to the right of the screen. And you guys can see here how this padding is coming in to save the day because the V stack itself has padding on it, right? So it has padding all around these edges here. So this guy doesn't get shoved all the way over to the right side of the screen and hug that edge. And you guys will notice that that's what would happen if I didn't have my padding on the V stack there. So this, really starts to bring all this stuff together, right? And goes to show you guys um, what it's like to build a clean, robust, responsive user interface using Swift UI. And, you know, obviously guys, we can just take this, copy and paste it, and put it on this H stack right here. And that looks really good, right? So that's like a little action button, like if you were to want to maybe message that user. And to make this a little bit more dynamic, let's maybe like go ahead and add Checo and like Checo Perez, just to spruce this up a little bit, right? And the last thing I want us to do in this video, guys, is see if we can move this up to the top of the screen. So let's just clean up our code a little bit. Let's go ahead and fold some of this stuff. So let's fold that guy, fold that guy, right? So this is looking a lot cleaner now. Um, now let's try to think about what we would do, want to do guys, if we want to move this to the top of the screen. Well, we got an example of that with how to do that with our vertical spacer stacks, right? Or our vertical or spacers that exist within vertical stacks. So that's what we're going to want to do here. I want you guys to try to see if you can figure out where to place that spacer to accomplish moving this 
uh, these two cells up to the top of the screen. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you guys can do that and come back when you're ready. Okay, so it's actually super, super simple, guys. You're just gonna wanna go within this V stack, and if you guys got that right, congrats, uh, and go underneath that last divider and just go ahead and add a spacer there. And that will move that all the way up to the top of the screen. And similarly, if you were to add that to the top of the V stack, it would move all that stuff to the bottom of the screen, right? So uh, that really gives you guys a good introduction to spacers and how they work and how they can help us uh, customize our layouts even further and have more control over them and also how we can utilize them to adapt to different screen sizes and fill empty spaces on our screen no matter what size the phone is. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. You are doing absolutely phenomenal so far. We've literally combined everything that we have learned thus far in this bootcamp to build this user interface that we see on the screen in front of us, guys. That's images and stacks and spacers and all of that good stuff, padding as well. So you guys are getting a really good foundation in how to build user interfaces with Swift UI. And we're gonna be continuing on with loops in the next module, guys. So get excited for that. We will see you there. Peace.